Hi friends, so welcome uh, to our ENT uh, X-rays or radiographs uh, second part. So today we'll take only two views uh, in this part. That is town view, this one, and this temporal moon, Schuller's Schuller's view, whatever. Now, uh, first foremost important thing is that we should know what is the position of the patient while the X-ray is being taken, right? So here it is the posture of the patient right so you can see the central ray which is directed uh, directed above the clapella around 6 cm above at the angle of 30 degree below the horizontal right so this is the position of the patient right you can also read it you can take the uh, screenshot now and save it for later purpose now here is the x-ray right now uh, first of all uh, we should identify certain landmarks right so it is already uh, marked here right uh, the sulcus of the transverse sinus also you can see this is the added knowledge which is the part of uh, dural venous sinuses now coming back to the ENT view right uh, occipital uh, protuberance you can see internal and external right here it's marked and here it is the occipital bone right now coming to the lucent areas which are the mastoid cells right so this is right this is the lucent areas which denotes the air definitely it would be mastoid air cells right so here you can identify some pathology it is the petrous bone so if you can see so clearly the petrous bone for example you can uh, diagnose petrocytes like a sclerosis of the bone will be seen right and you may compare it with the other side also so this is the foramen magnum and we can also see the posterior arch of atlas right and dense and there pathology also can be identified right but the foremost important things which we see that you know it should include entire skull dorsum cellae posterior clinoid processes uh, but for the dorsum cellae we can have this view right the cellular sigma we will discuss in that uh, that in the next video so and the bony trabulcular patterns, cortical outlines are sharply defined. Now let us see some notes which I have created already. So both petrous pyramids and arcuitum and subvisible mastoid ent entron, IAC that is internal auditory canal. That's why the for the caustic neuroma that is helpful, right? So which is the tumor of vestibular cochlea, nerve, the tympanic cavity, cochlea, and external auditory canal are visible, right? Again. So these are the mustard cells, right? Now uh, we and this is the mandibular condyle. Just above it is the here we have the external auditory meters, right? So in Schiller's view, we will have the uh, mustard bone uh, uh, importance more. Uh, we will see the importance there more clearly, right? So this is done for the town's view, right? And coming back to Schiller's view, right? So first again. Uh, I'll advise you to see the position of the patient when the x-ray is being taken the blue dotted lines are the x-ray film right and you can see the angle of the central x-ray and the distance from the here we can uh, have the landmark of external auditory canal right around 3 to 4 centimeters above it right so uh, you can take the snapshot screenshot whatever and now let us see the x-ray right now here we can have a more comprehensive look of the various parts right so here we have the external auditory canal right and if you just put your hand uh, towards the uh, this eac and now uh, if you go down you will follow the mandible right this is just for landmark purpose now the main thing that is the ear cells right so yeah you can see the lucent area right so this is due to air trapped in them right so air is uh, basically the important component of the mustard process right so for that i may need to show you this also for better view like uh, okay so for uh, town's view you may see the it is the internal auditory canal right and this is the petrous part from the interior calvaria right this is the internal calvaria and Showing the exterior part, we can have this temporal bone which is green, right? And this is the petrous part, right? This one. So this is pyramid shape. And we can see how the 
external auditory canal and the mastoid are you know visible in the anatomy and how we will see the ear cells here and this is the external auditory canal right coming back to that x-ray yeah now you may correlate uh, more uh, clearly and comprehensively that this is the external auditory canal and so those it would be the ear cells and the infection can also proceed uh, go from ear cells to the external auditory canal or vice versa but there are protective mechanisms there too so squamous ear cells perianto ear cells marginal ear cells and the ear cells in the tip of the mustard process are also visible right so importance yeah importance this uh, this we can see the ear cell degenerative changes sclerosis of the ear cell the lucency will be lost lucency means the black whatever we say uh, while describing the x-ray lucency is a more scientific word to denote that right and the peters pyramid fracture also we can see how let us see so if there's some pathology we can see here right any fracture or ear cell uh, sclerosis right so in our next video we'll discuss more views transorbital cell atosica right so that's all for today thank you for viewing this video goodbye